my name is Salma Khan. I'm business developer in Siemens AG. Today I'll show you how easily you can realize a special locking system using Sirius Act ID key and the IO link connection. What do we need for this? We need a white key. We need a laptop with TIA portal and port configuration tool and the right hardware support packages for the ID key. The port configuration tool and the hardware support package can be downloaded free of cost from Siemens website. In the factory setting of base module, no white keys are registered. You can see as you insert an unregistered white key in the actuator module, all LEDs are flashing yellow. In the next step, I'll show you how to realize a highly secure locking system. For that, we will configure the white key in the port configuration tool and block all other standard colored keys. I have already prepared a new project in TIA portal. In the project view of TIA portal, you can find the hardware configuration. You see an ET200 SP CPU with IOLink master module. ID key switch will be connected with the IOLink master module. Now right click on the IOLink master module and click on Start Device Tool. In the new window, again click on Start button to open the Port Configuration Tool. In the screen for Port Configuration Tool, on the right hand side in the catalog, expand the folder for IOLink version 1.1, further expand Siemens AG folder, then down to Sirius Egg Devices. Double-click on Sirius Act electronic module for ID key operator switch and it will come to the first port of IOLink master module. Now we will do parameterization for the ID key. On the left-hand side, click on Sirius Act electronic module for ID key operator switch. In the new window, go to the parameters tab. Here you will find all the parameters that can be adjusted for the ID key. Now we give the plugged in white key the same rights as the blue master key. So click on authorize, set authorization level 4. This means the white key can switch all four positions. For a special locking system, we must block all other standard colored keys. Go to individually codable ID keys only and click on enable button. Click on the load button and the configuration will be downloaded in the base module. Now we test the configuration for this special locking system. We'll take out the white key insert in the blue key and you can see all LEDs are flashing red. It means the system is unaccessible for all other colored keys. We go back again to the white key, insert it in and switch to position number four and it works. Now you could see it's really easy and simple to realize a special locking system with the port configuration tool. Give it a try. Now you could see it's really easy and simple to realize a special locking system with the port configuration tool. This is Sirius Act Performance in Action.